the <clears throat> troubles that I find many students have is capturing enough of the vestibule in the anterior segment of an upper impression. And this is partly because uh, they're taught, you're taught, to insert the tray from back to front. As you do that, and the tray is being inserted, it literally has to go around those incisors and come up underneath the upper lip. And so it's defying the laws of physics to get the material up and into the vestibule. So I'm going to show you an alternate method of, an ins of inserting an upper tray. If you insert it from front to back, you can capture all that anatomy up above the, the front teeth, which is critical on many aesthetic cases. Uh, now, the reason, obviously, that, that you insert from back to front is to keep the material from, the excess material, from running down the patient's throat. But you can accomplish the same thing by the way you insert the tray from front to back, and I'll show you that next. So you can go ahead and mix uh, the alginate. So as I'm mixing, I like to incorporate all of my powder into the liquid. Once I see that I've got a pretty consistent mix, I like to mix it like cake batter. Back forth, back forth. Make sure you've got a good grip of the bowl. And then scoop it all into a, a little pile. I can't take an impression without a mouth mirror. It uh, is invaluable to have to retract with. And so the mouth mirror comes on the left side, the tray is rotated into place, the mirror comes to the front, and see how far forward that tray is so that when you insert, you shovel or scoop all that excess material up underneath the front lip, like that. So that's a way where you can get um, an adequate impression up underneath the front lip. So we'll let this material set, we'll remove it and see how we did. So I like to take a little bit of this excess, good swallow for me, very good. We're going to wipe it into the occlusal surfaces, I'll need just a little bit more if I could to, there we go. Now this is a little bit of an alternative method to what you've been taught. Mirror comes in on the one side, rotate around, get the tray in place. Mirror comes to the front, and I'm going to insert front to back. So the material is set. Uh, when in doubt, go a little longer. Um, now, you want to get a little air up underneath the edge so you need to retract one cheek at a time we'll do the right and then we'll do the left like this so that the air can get underneath the tray as we take it out like that and as you can see using that method we get a really nice vestibule in that anterior area which is really an area where I think most student struggle is right up in this area. So if you insert the tray from front to back and make sure that those teeth enter the material way behind the, the front edge of the tray, then it can shovel, all those teeth can shovel all that extra material up into that vestibule. Getting my water in. Again, getting a nice even mix. And just like cake batter. Okay. 
Okay, so on a lower, I'll grab half. The other half. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So again, we do the same thing, only on the lower teeth, we'll wipe uh, this excess into those important occlusal surfaces. Same idea, the mirror retracts on the left, the tray is rotated into place, the mirror is brought to the anterior, anterior, tongue up and tongue out now, very good, and then just relax. Perfect, we'll let that set. So the material is set. Again, we'll get a little bit of air release on either side. Keep the mirror there for when you take it out. And again, we should have a fairly decent impression with good extensions all the way around the vestibule area there so that we're not just looking at uh, teeth sticking out of uh, stone blocks.